What's up, agents? Happy Wednesday to you. Today, ooh, very special training today. I think I say that every time, but everything is very special, right? Everything, um, there's so much that goes into tripling our income and creating time and simplifying our business. So to me, everything is an exciting, important training. Uh, so he say hello when you hop in. I would love to say hello to you. Um, fourth quarter, guys, is upon us. It is upon us, all right? So this is our, our time now to really dig in, lay out those systems, lay out those procedures, and really make sure that um, our, our goal setting process and our business plan is not something that we set and forget, but because what's the point of that? <laughs> we wanna make sure that we actually use it as a guide in order to get to uh, where we want to end up. And that's the whole point of a business plan. So if you don't know me, my name is Erica Fields. I am a real estate agent coach and business strategist. I help agents just like you triple their income in um, half the time, less than half the time. All right. So uh, today, the three things that every single business plan needs in order for you to achieve those fourth quarter goals, okay? And even faster than you thought possible. All right, so I see, um, I've seen a ton of business plans at this point, as I'm sure you have too, or maybe you haven't. Let me know, have you um, put together a business plan in the comments, all right? Yay or nay, do you, is business planning for you, okay? And do you get your business plan, do you use a template? All right, I'm, I'm curious, let me know what, what you do, okay? Now, um, so number one of the three things, and we're talking about achieving our penthouse vision, okay? Our long-term ultimate goal, our big vision that we are trying to reach, we want to start with that, okay? Um, and that's, that's number one, is starting with our vision okay now when i see business plans that do include the vision it's a square like this big okay and i don't know about you <laughs> but my life is going to be bigger than this big okay where i'm going and what i'd like to create needs more space than this okay so when i see a box that's this big it's already not conducive to helping our brain get specific get creative and get in depth Okay, so we want to start when we're creating our business plan or when we're creating our strategy, we want to start from our ultimate why. And that needs to be um, specific and you need to have clarity around it. Okay, so the big why of where you are heading. All right, and here's what I mean by clarity around your vision. All right, um, do you know, all right, so the car that you have now, is this the car that you want to keep forever? Probably not, okay? You want another car, all right? What is that other car? Do you know what, what kind of car you're looking for? What is the likely payment that it's gonna be, right? We all have an idea of that car that we want, right? We all are like, oh man, I wish I had this car. Okay, what would that monthly payment look like? Okay, creating clarity around that vision. Because when it is foggy, when our, our vision is foggy, we don't know where to go. That allows for distractions to come in. That allows for us to um, really get unfocused. All right, so when we, we wanna begin be creating crystal clear clarity, all right? I like to call it 360 clarity, a full picture of our vision and where we are headed. So your business plan has to start with that big goal. And usually it's a feeling that we are looking for, okay? Freedom and flexibility. Um, you wanna be able to do whatever you want to do and your family is still taken care of, right? Your bills are still being paid. So what is the benefit of having that freedom? How are you gonna feel when you're actually making the choices and having the, the flexibility that you desire? Because that's the feeling that we're looking for with our vision. It's not necessarily the, 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 
the freedom and flexibility that we're looking for, but we're get, we're looking for that result beyond that, that feeling that freedom and flexibility gives us. All right? If that vibes with you, give me a thumbs up. Okay? So, our first first thing that every single business plan has to have is a super specific vision. I like to call it the penthouse vision and starting with that vision. In addition to that clarity, okay, you want to know where you're going, where you are now, all right, financially, mentally, uh, regarding your business goals, where you are now, and what is that gap in between, all right? Those are the things that you want to start off with your business plan, starting with that penthouse vision, okay? And then you're gonna reverse engineer from there. With my clients, I take them through about five different steps where we work backwards, and that helps us limit distractions, and it helps us stay focused and achieve our goals so fast, all right? Moving on, the next thing that we need in our business plan that we absolutely have to have are actionable goals, okay? If you cannot schedule, when you break down your business plan and you break down your strategy and you do not end up with actionable daily and weekly tasks, that is a red flag, <laughs> red flag. All right, so when you are doing your goal setting, you wanna reverse engineer all the way starting with your vision Okay, starting with your vision and work backwards from there. I call it our empire goal building setting. Okay, if you think about, I say okay all the time and I keep hearing that. Starting with our ultimate vision at the top, that's like your CEO, that big idea. Okay, then working backwards from there, you have your directors, right? Board of directors, you have your managers, you have your IT department. Then you have your employees, foot in the ground soldiers, the ones that are making it happen, the broiler room, if you will, right? Now, this, when we reverse engineer our main goal, right, from our vision, we cannot stop the goal setting. We cannot stop breaking down the goals until you have what you need to do on a daily basis and most for most of us agents it is conversations having conversations with people on a daily basis and the next part or the one other part of that business plan okay is determining where those conversations are coming from I see a lot of business plans that will break it down all the way, okay? They'll break it down and say, all right, this is how many conversations you need to have. Go have them. And you have those conversations, but since they weren't with the right people, the momentum isn't built the way you need it to. It's not built in according to your goals, all right? So when you are setting this plan and you've set the goals for yourself and you realize, all right, the main thing I need to do is conversations, and even marketing can be creating a conversation, right? Digital conversations, creating conversations online are still conversations. So it ultimately is creating conversations. When you see, when you reverse engineer it all the way down from your vision, all right, you're gonna see that we need those daily convos, okay? Then we wanna be specific about who those conversations need to be with. If you are looking for a check now, right? If you if you have some urgent goals that are requiring you to go out and get some deals this month, well, this month, at least get a listing contract <laughs> this month, okay? Then we need to be having conversations with people who are actually looking to make a move right now, right? Buying or selling is what I mean by making a move, like doing something, okay? Buying or selling. I tend to push the listings as most of us in the industry do because those are going to typically convert at a higher rate, right? If you have talk to 10 sellers and do 10 listing appointments versus talking to 10 buyers and doing 10 buyer consults, you will likely have more sellers that go through and end up with a contract 
in less time than the buyers, right? Thumbs up if you agree. I don't think there's even agreeing with it. It's just facts. <laughs> so thumbs up. <laughs> All right. So we want to make sure that we start with our vision, our ultimate CEO vision. What are those feelings that we're going for? And we reverse engineer all the way down to the ground level where we are taking action on a daily basis. Okay. Now, those are usually the two things that I see missing from the, the business plan itself. Now, here's what happens, needs to happen after the business plan. If your business plan has got all this, let me know. I, wanna, I really want to dive deep and have a conversation with you guys about what your business plan looks like so that way we can make it more effective. But these are the main things that we're seeing and I can address now for you with the information that I have um, based off of what I've seen the last four years. All right, so here is the thing that is missing after the plan, okay? It is not enough to write it, or else we probably all would have achieved goals by now, right? Have you written a business plan and then not stuck to it? Have you written a business plan and lost momentum and then actually completely forgot about it and then next quarter you go to do your next business plan and you never even address what happened the quarter before? Okay, what we want to ensure is that our, after we've set our business plan, we create a strategy to continue to see these uh, goals we've set for ourselves. We cannot just write it once and then file it away, okay? Write it and print it. I recommend having it in your workspace visible every single day. Okay, with my clients, we have our top goals. We reverse engineer it all the way from our vision, all the way to the five layers. We do five different layers to break down each section of goal setting that we need. Okay, and then our fifth one is that action plan. Now, the next thing that we do is every single morning, check out that action plan and remind yourself what you're going for. And our action plan is based off of 90 day goals, right? We don't have all year. We have 90 days to get this done, all right? So there's another level of urgency that you create when you're creating these action and these business plans for yourself, okay? So you need to review it. When you don't see your big vision every day, it is much harder to get hung up on. It is much more difficult to wake up every single day and deal with these crazy fires that we have to deal with, to deal with other agents, to deal with other people, and then to come home and deal with our home life, right? We want to make sure that our vision is so big and so exciting that when we think about it, it gets us pumped. And I did not always have a vision like this. All right, I used to think, okay, yeah, what's so exciting that you're gonna actually be so excited about and eventually you do find that thing. For me, it is changing this darn industry so that way you can get paid, you get your darn money, you become a high level professional and your clients get the money too because you know how to maximize equity. You are a professional at listing a property and returning on their investment, right? So we want to make sure, yes, mom, I, you need to write your business plan too. <laughs> uh, so we want to make sure that even with our, our goal setting, we stay motivated, right? Our, our vision, this, is a, this business plan is a way to keep you excited and motivated throughout the whole quarter. And the best way to do that is for you to start seeing your goals and for you to see your, uh, what you'd like to accomplish on a daily basis, okay? And at the very least, on a weekly basis, remind yourself what you're going into. All right, every single week, this is why I'm doing this. This is why I'm doing this. And when I used to hear this, guys, I was like, sure. Yeah, I've read this a million times and I've heard this a million times. But until you see the difference it makes in your life, you're, you're just not going to grasp the importance of it. Okay, so guys, please, please, please don't watch this for entertainment. 
Watch this to get an investment of your time. All right, start with your vision, reverse engineer it to have your, your daily priorities and actions that have to be taken. All right, what are some of those priorities? Other than talking to people, other than having conversations in the comments, write, tell me what are, what's one other priority that you have on a daily basis, okay, that we have to, non-negotiable, do in our business. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a couple bonus tips. All right, so we talked about three different things. Number one, we have to start with our vision. We have to know where we wanna go and be super specific about it. All right, know where we wanna go, know where we are now, and what the gap is in between, okay? So number one is starting with your vision. Number two is reminding, I think I skipped, but number two is actionable goals. Starting with your vision and breaking it down until you have a goal that you can schedule into your calendar and repeat on a daily and weekly, monthly basis, okay? So make sure, if you cannot put it in your schedule, for example, um, making 100K this year. I wanna make 100K this year. You cannot schedule that into your calendar, okay? I asked my clients this morning, they said, yes, you can, Erica. <laughs> okay, so yes, you can technically schedule, earn 100K, but how do you go out and make that action, right? What is the actual action that comes before making that 100K, and that is your prospecting, right? That's prospecting, that's marketing, that's following up with your past clients, that's doing the work, okay? So, bonus tips. Um, one of the absolute best things that you can do, and one of the reasons we often don't accomplish our goals is because we severely underestimate the level of urgency and the level of effort that it's going to take to uh, achieve that goal, right? Have you ever sat down to do a post or do like a quick, oh, I'll just on Canva, I'll make this real quick and, and put it out there two hours later, you're like, never mind, I'm never even gonna just delete the whole thing and forget about it, right? So we, we wanna make sure, give me a thumbs up if that's ever happened to you or let me know in the comments. Tell me no, I'm not alone. <laughs> All right, so we wanna make sure that um, what was I even saying about that, guys? We want to make sure, oh, level of urgency. Okay, good. We want to make sure that our, our level of urgency and the level of effort, we have an accurate under, uh, understanding of what that's going to look like, okay? And this is where that idea of 10x comes from. This is where the idea of 10x even comes from, okay? 10x does not mean that you need to change your $100,000 goal to a million dollars. You need to take action and you need to create a plan as if you were going to achieve that $1 million, all right? Because what happens in our brain, we set these goals, oh, I wanna do 10 this month or four or five, depending where you are, right? Whatever's comfortable. Okay, when we do that and we say, all right, we have the full year to do this or we have the full 90 days or, you know, we have this, this amount of time and it's not, uh, it's not pressing you and making you feel uncomfortable, we're gonna slack off a little bit. We're gonna tend to take it a little easier. Okay, but when we tell ourselves, well, let's say we had a goal of doing 10 listings this month. We do not want to create a plan for 10 listings. We want to act and create a plan as if we were trying to achieve a hundred listings. Okay. So if you were going to achieve, if you were going to get a hundred listings this quarter, what would you need to do? What would you need to do? What would you need to do differently in order to knock out a hundred listings this year? Did you guys say talk to a lot more sellers, be more social um, on social media about listings, right? Do you see how your brain says, starts thinking of what it would need to do? So when you're creating these action plans, 
a lot of the times we have zero urgency, right? Oh yeah, well, we'll got, we have some calls to do today. And you know, when I was selling cars, people would comment in the lobby, yeah, you just walk so, you're so fast. You know, the first couple of times people said that to me, I was like, okay, you know, I just, I thought that's what people did when they had goals to achieve, right? But I started taking a look at the other salespeople and I noticed they definitely, I am zippy. All right, someone wants to demo. I am not casually walking towards the car. I've, I've got way more sales and cars to sell than this one. I'm hurrying my butt so I can go do that one, provide them the best level of service, and then I'm on to the very next person so I can provide them service. We want our goal setting we want, and our business strategy and our business plan to reflect that level of urgency. All right, are any of you gonna be upset because you reached your goals faster? I don't think so. Are you gonna be upset because you surpassed your goal because you took more action? I don't think so. All right, I believe what's gonna happen is you're gonna realize how far, how low you've been setting the bar the whole time and how much you're actually capable of. All right. But with great power comes great responsibility. And then you have to keep it up because you know, you know you're capable of so much more. Okay, and that's what gets hard is that, that insane high level, elite level of service on a day-to-day -day basis. Right, that's why we want to start from our vision and break it down. Okay, um, the other big reasons, and I'm just going to go through these real quick here and we will wrap it up for today. But the other big reasons I see people not sticking to their goals, um, their, their vision plan, is because of that their goals aren't big enough. So there's no urgency, there's no excitement, right? Or they're not your goals. Having an arbitrary goal, just because it's like an industry milestone to reach 100,000, if you don't know what you're gonna do with that money afterwards or have that uh, understanding of why you want to earn that hundred thousand it's going to be so much more difficult to obtain all right so this is why we create this business plan so that way we can be a conduit of money create this clarity create this pathway and that business plan will allow you to do it but you've got to stick to it okay so your goals got to be big enough they have to excite you and they have to not be arbitrary. They have to be specific to you. Vision-based business plan, okay? Um, I also see a lack of commitment. Okay, well, I'm gonna try it this quarter. You know, I'll try it this quarter. Man, I want you to know 100% without a doubt you've got it in the bag. You do not need to know how, you just need to know you do. All right? You do not need to know how. Forget about the how. The how is the process goals that you've set. The how is your daily repeatable action plan. You've already created it. You do know how. Half the time, we just don't want to. We lack that commitment. Okay? It is hard. I'm not going to lie. It's freaking hard. But if it was easy, everybody would do it. <laughs> All right? Um, lack of commitment. Our goals aren't big enough. We don't know where we want to go. Um, we don't have actionable, actionable goals, and we are severely underestimating the level of effort required to achieve those goals, okay? Now, let's say one month in, you, you look at your goals and say, hey, I'm not quite where I want to be, okay? What we need to do then is not adjust the goal. We don't want to start with our vision and say, hey, and and change the the big goal what we want to change is what's happening on a daily basis we want to change the systems not that goal okay if that goal is too high then work for it reverse engineer from there and figure it out and adjust from your systems all right stop moving this here and adjust your bottom line adjust that the systems the daily weekly monthly habits Okay, it's a habit thing. All right, guys, so that uh, sums it up for today. The, I want to 
really stick close with you guys this quarter and please comment let me know if you're watching the replay please be part of this conversation i want to talk to you about reaching your goals um, at hyper speed this quarter okay i want you to look in the next six weeks and weeks and say okay i guess i should have set bigger goals all right but stick with me engage with the process if you're watching the video i cannot help you and tailor it towards you if you do not um respond okay what's up sam thank you my pleasure looking forward to talking to you um if you do want to set a call with me guys please drop call in the comments if you know that you are responsible for your own success and fourth quarter is going to be your damn quarter drop call in the comments and you and i will talk about what the investment looks like and let's take this seriously all right Success is on the other side of a decision, man. All right, have a good one. We'll talk to you next week.